Dah lepas. Ha, ayo. Ayo. In Pumutaram Bali, an exciting new underwater garden is being built. Under the direction of Chris Brown of Reef Scene Divers Resort, an honorable garden in reverence to local beliefs is being established. I want to give uh, something that was relevant to the local community here, to the local area, and what to use you know, Balinese statues. And talking with my staff and other people from the villages, we, in the village here, we came up with the idea of the story of the, of the Dewata Nawasanga the nine gods of Bali. Uh, one, we have Shiva, who's in the middle, and the other eight gods, who are all located in the eight directions of the wind, or we would say the point of the compass. The garden sits in 20 meters of water and is in the sand. In the center of the gardens is the maiden god, Shiva, and his son Ganesh to the left. To the east, near the garden entrance, sits Aswara, and in the northeast is Sambu, with Vishnu in the north. Sankara is in the northwest, Mahadeva in the west, and Rudra in the southwest. Like all gardens, there are dancers, musicians, benches, fountains, and lanterns. Brahma is in the south, and Mahasora sits in the southeast. The garden sits right next to a coral reef, which like many other reefs around the world, has been negatively impacted. But there is hope, because the garden will help rebuild this reef. Proof of this can be seen in the underwater temple gardens, which is situated just half a kilometer away. Also built by Chris and the Reef Gardeners in 2005 with funding from Ausaid, the temple gardens are a success story of how a coral reef can rebuild itself. Once dynamited and fished out for the aquarium trade, the coral reef today is vibrant and alive with a healthy population of corals and fish. It were the temple gardens that were the inspiration to Cassandra Dragon, who is a partner with Chris, in forming the idea for the Garden of the Gods. Well, keeping in tradition here and respecting the, the tradition of the local Balinese people, uh, we need to have a, a ceremony to bless it all, to make sure this, the installation goes well, to make sure nothing bad happens later on with people diving it, and just to make the locals feel very happy, very at ease with it. A traditional Balinese blessing ceremony was performed by the local priest, who also used to work for Chris and was involved in the underwater temple garden's installation. Offerings of food and drink were given to the gods to protect the workers, protect the gardens, and remove bad spirits from the statues. After the blessing, local dignitaries, which included the government head of fisheries and seas, village and religious heads of Pumutaran, heads of the local fishermen and police, as well as representatives from local businesses, were entertained to Reef Scene's own Balinese dancers, who performed Edwan Taksu, the turtle dance, to honor the turtle hatchery at Reef Scene Divers Resort. Following the ceremony, the now blessed statues were hand loaded onto the floating work platform made specifically for this project. The platform was towed to the garden, and each statue was hand lowered into the sea. There were no use of electronic or hydraulic winches in the entire installation, just good old fashioned human strength and ingenuity. Okay, we're just getting the statue ready to put down. 
we've got to be kind of quick about it, but not too quick. The guy, yeah, not too quick that we make mistakes. How many minutes to do the first two? Uh, uh, 12 minutes to do the first two. What's the limit that you want your divers down there at? Uh, the guys down there, we don't want them going to go in the deco. At 22 meters, we've got between, we've got about 25 minutes. A lot of deco time, but because they're working, we want to try and keep it to 20 minutes. Just be on the safe side for one more. Last thing we wanted the guys to get was the decompression sickness. Okay. So we got a, a lowering rope first, so we'll, we'll, we attach that so that it goes down first. The guys, the team down below, can actually then grab that, and as the statue is coming down, they can pull it over guide it over to where they actually want the statue and be more precise to make sure it's not getting hitting any other statues as yeah, we're getting them down the and to, um, to yeah, get uh, as close as possible to the, the actual yeah. base for it yeah. as they can. Yeah. Yeah. Be in the dive, my Sora. Do you have a weight on these statues? A weight? Um, VH. VH? Yeah, very heavy. <laughs> so here we have a combination of Balinese, Java, Madura, Madura, and Aussie colors. Hey. The most worrisome statue to install was a large center statue of Shiva. Because it was the centerpiece, the statue sat on top of a large turtle to represent the turtle hatchery at Reef Scene Divers Resort. The turtle base was so large that it couldn't fit through the lowering hole in the work platform. The turtle had to be placed on a special drum float, swim out to the gardens by two divers, and lowered with the float still attached. Once the base and statues were on the bottom, the crew was able to hand carry and place the statues in their respected locations. Now that the statues had all been installed and secured, Chris and Cassandra can put on the final touches of adding the caps to the tops of the gods. Coral fragments were collected from the reef directly next to the garden. These fragments were placed in pre-drilled holes on a statue base and will start to take hold in two to three weeks time. Fish have already started finding shelter in the spaces between the statues. With the Garden of the Gods now complete, Chris was able to guide a special guest, Tom Hughes, as the first diver through the gardens.